hey guys welcome to today's class uh, in our last class which happened to be the part one of this particular class we did uh, look at a gasoline generator a tigmas 2900 generator that has power output issues and of course we did try troubleshooting and testing various components that could be the reason for the fault with our multimeter uh, we did test the sockets and we went straight to the alternator that prices of the rotor and the starter and of course we tested the rotor and the starter uh, to ascertain if it has continuity or if there is any issues and we discover it was in perfect condition and of course we also tested other components and looked at them physically observed them physically to see if they could be the reason for the fault the reason for not having power output we looked at the brush we looked at uh, even the diode at one point and uh, we finally discovered the AVRO could be the reason for the issues, the reason for not uh, bringing out voltage. And when we lose out the AVRO, we discovered the AVRO was well, well swollen. So in today's class, we'll be fixing, we'll be installing a new AVRO. So without further ado, shall we? Okay. I came prepared anyway. I had a strong feeling the AVRO could be one of the issues and I came with an AVRO. Okay, this is the AVRO I came around with. Well, I really wanted to get a new AVRO, but I just couldn't because of time constraint and um, because of time constraint basically. Um, where they sell it around is, I, I just can't get it at the moment. I just can't get it at the moment. So, I need to improvise and I came with another AVRO, though not new, but will serve the purpose. It's very, very much functional, okay? So, this is it now. Don't forget I lose these two wires, I will have to connect them back, okay? I will have to connect them back. Basically for those that are not experts, for those that do not fix generators of or those that are just are, are just trying to to learn it for the first time what you need to when you lose out something make sure you fix it back immediately it's advisable you fix it back immediately so let me fix this back since we discovered it's very continuous and we just discovered the fault it's coming from the avr so it is better we'll fix it back immediately so we don't misplace some of these little little knots okay all right Okay, what we need to do now is to fix the AVR I came, I came around with. It's easy to fix. Okay. And see, you must note, you must note this because, okay, for some people, they really don't want to test. They will just want to assume, okay, okay. I watched a video on Bankers of Technical Studies channel and I discovered the fault was just the AVR good and fine. It, it's just the AVR and I will have to fix it myself. I go get an AVR and I'm fixing it the wrong way. Of course, the gen won't work because you are fixing it the wrong way. In as much as you maybe you don't have your meter at home to test or you don't have the time to test or to troubleshoot. Rather, you don't have the time to troubleshoot, but you just have the AVR and you are willing to fix it up yourself make sure you are putting the positive end or the okay let me use the positive wire because that's what we know it as the positive wire in the right place and the right place is usually on the left of the carbon brush please do not forget that this is positive and this is the negative part the negative is at the right of the carbon brush okay i've successfully fixed it i fixed it the right way 
Okay, do not look at it and say, okay, the blue is going to the left and the yellow is going to the right. It's not like that. Sometimes you may get an AVR and they may have different wire colors. If they have different wire colors, you get confused along the line. So the best thing to note is know where the wire, know which of the wire is positive. Okay, we now know the left, the, the, we now know the blue wire is positive and that's how I took it to the left. And if the blue wire is positive, that means most definitely the yellow wire will be uh, negative. I will take it to the right. Okay, we've done that already. Let's Okay, I just discovered something. Like I said, I came prepared. I just discovered something. I see one of the reasons why whoever has fixed this thing before decided not to take this out. It's worn out already, so any spanner I try losing it out with, it's just doesn't work. I tried a six seven spanner just now and it doesn't work. But I have a gripping plier here. So I'll be using the gripping plier to, to pull it out. And it's gonna be difficult but that's the function of the gripping plier. The gripping plier is to pull it out. Okay. Just in case you are watching and you are saying, oh, I don't know how to use a gripping plier, there is a video on ground already that explains in details how to use a gripping plier. I think that's just about the second or third video that was dropped on the YouTube channel. You can go wash it out so you get a better understanding on some of these tools. This thing is very very strong. Of course, that's why the gripping player is here. I'm gonna lose it out. All right, so we'll successfully taking out the bolts. Whoa, all right, so the bolts. The reason why we couldn't lose it out, in fact, with the regular spanner is because the bolt head was worn out. Okay, bolt head was worn out. All right, let's continue. Okay, now we've successfully installed another AVRO. Let's couple this part, then we'll kick start the generator. Okay. Let's kick start 
now to check out our wall. Just a quick recap. The generator before now couldn't bring out the voltage. Okay. Mm, we checked, examined physically from the uh, voltmeter. Now, to this point, which is the little liking point, which usually indicates the generator that produces voltage, didn't we? We did a test run to check for continuity via the multimeter we eventually did a test run on the alternator here we check for the continuity in the uh, uh, rotor and the starter and eventually we checked the brush we discovered the brush was in a fantastic shape and we eventually checked the AVR and we discovered the AVR was the reason for power outage the whole time and of course we installed a new aviaro and the gen is back to proper shape but one more thing if you notice carefully at one point this voltmeter did not bring out voltage whatsoever it did not show there was power in the generator on, on, on a norm if you put on the generator if there was power it we go to the right okay that's how it works but what i need to tell you now for those that noticed this voltmeter is faulty although it is not in our job description by our clients to fix the voltmeter otherwise we would have fixed it right away okay uh that is it from us for today's class we hope you enjoyed the teachings and we hope you can now install a new AVR yourself and we know you can now from this tissue we believe you can troubleshoot a generator that has a lightning issue that has power issue and even if you can't troubleshoot you already know that there's one basic thing that can cause the generator not to produce voltage and that is the AVR and I believe with what you've seen today in this class you can change the AVR yourself which is quite easy. Uh, the video may be over 10 minutes long and that is because we really wanted everybody to get first hand knowledge from the very basics on how to troubleshoot something like this when a fault like this arises. But notwithstanding if your generator has a fault like this and you really don't want to troubleshoot or do not have the time to go into uh, using of the multimeter or you don't have the multimeter around to test with you can simply lose that part of the generator and observe your AVR. If your AVR is 40, you change with the knowledge we've got in front of this class. Alright, we'll meet in our next class. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, share it with your friends and family so they can get good teachings and knowledge from this channel as well. Bye from my end. We'll meet in our next class.